ढाबा कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट रैक पिकिंग चाइल्ड सेलिंग थिंग्स एंड दे आर डूइंग वर्क अंडर ढाबा एंड दे वर्क एज लेबरर्स वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट मैकेनिक और एन अप्रेंटिस एट अ लोकल साइकिल शॉप picking up your plate as at a at a local dhaba taking your next order all these are a regular work for a 12 year boy named raju or chotu what you call it these are in millions of number they are just not those children which are doing work for their survival but they are uh, lacking the education which they deserves and which is their right at this age and now we are going to introduce millions of chotus through our presentation and here this is our team <coughs> I am Om, myself Somesh Kumar, and I am the group leader of this group. I am Shruti, Antal Vikar, I am Salvi Sandhya. I am Pradeep Patel. Take your position. Now, fourth insight: Introduction, History, Shwas Info, Case Study, Conclusion, Prevention Method, Recent Data, Statistics, and Consequences. This is the point table. Where we are, whatever we have did in this PPT. Now I will explain the what is child labour. Child labour refers to the uh, exploitation of the children through any form of work that deprives children of their childhood, Infer uh, interference with the ability to attend regular school, and is mentally, physically, social, and morally harmful. Uh, child labour also refers to as the employment of the children. Uh, they pay the low wages for a lot of work for hours. This is the basic information of child labor, and we are going to elaborate it further in our PPT. Now, beginning with the history of child labor. Child labor is a phenomena that has existed since human developed farming techniques. Child labor is more common in developing countries such as Sri Lanka, South Africa, and in our India too. Industrial revolutions started in 1750 in Europe, following civil war, forced children into dangerous work. Children were forced to do work for 15 to 18 hours, and it interfered their schooling, and it became a lost nightmare for them. Uh, parents in need of money sent uh, sell the sell the children to brokers, and slavery became an important practice in late 1700 century. And if I conclude the history, it is from uh, agriculture. to industrial revolution to world war 1 and world war 2 moving actual number of child laborers in uh, india and over world before proceeding i would like to ask you few questions very simple questions what is the population of india it is about 1.3 billion and uh, again a simple question what is the population of children in india 2 crores it is approximately 35 million so proceeding to the data according to the government of india Uh, with the census of 2011 they says that there are 4.5 million uh, children are doing child labor where the international labor organization says that 10.1 million children are involved involved in child labor and since ilo's data is accepted everywhere so i will prefer ilo's data and according to that data every 3 children in 10 are in child labor so moving forward uh, to the World's data. World's data says that 152 million children are directly involved in child labor. The number can be more as those those are not recorded well. Uh, we know how <coughs> census are done. So moving forward, the worst point is that we are more in the percentage in 152 with the percentage of 6.6 percent, and we are getting the number of 10.1 million in this history. This you can see how much boys are interviewed. Fifty-eight percent, that is approximately eighty-eight million boys are into this, and this is the Indian data. And total forty-two percent of girls are here, sixty-four, and you can forty-two percent, sixty-four million girls are involved. And you can see this is only the data in government records. You can imagine how it will be very vast behind the record. We'll explain the graph. Uh, Child labor was a decreasing uh, since of uh, since from the 10 last years. Uh, the Europe has the least count of child labor, and the Asia has most count of the child labor. Uh, more precisely, uh, reading the graph, it says that Africa has the highest number of child laborers in the world, and whether uh, Europe has a minimum amount of child laborers. And this is the uh, Asia's graph, and we can see clearly that it's decreasing. And we are, we can also see that world's graph is also decreasing. 
since 1952 to present time. Uh, here, 71.5 million decrease in uh, the number of child labor from past 10 years, and it is the decrease in percentage of 38 percent. We can still imagine that this is this figure is in millions as we have talked about. It was 1.500 approximately 0.15 billion. So now moving further with the consequences of COVID-19, and uh, I will start with the example uh, of a, a common person who is uh, a middle, uh, lower middle person uh, in the economic category, and we can see that uh, who is transient, pro, uh, who is in transient poverty. So it simply means if you have less amount of money, then you will fall in poverty. So due to COVID-19, he might lose their job, and her children and wife have to work. So the, because of this, we can clearly see that a uh, child went into the child labor. So uh, reading to the data, there are 9 million increase in child labor all over the world. And uh, the worst fact again is that there is that we, uh, we are uh, uh, involved with 1.6 million. We are increasing the data with 1.6 million of uh, increase of 20 percentage in this data. And what Dr. Yashim al Haq said, she is UNICEF representative on, of India and UNICEF, uh, I will uh, explain you later. She said that the, the pandemic has clearly emerged as child right crisis, aggravating the risk of child laborers, as many more families are likely to have fallen into extreme poverty. Children in poor and disadvantaged house, houses in India are now at greater risk of a negative coping mechanism, such as dropping out of school and being forced into labor, marriage, and even fa uh, failing victim to trafficking. We are also seeing children lose parents and uh, caregivers to the virus, leaving them distributed with parental care. Uh, these children are at extremely vulnerable to neglect, abuse and exploitation. So uh, the statement is itself very clear and I can only say that India is at very danger in this aspect. Political map of India, it shows that how much denser the uh, child labour is. It shows the number of child labour cases reported into whole of India. Uh, Uttar Pradesh being on the top co contributes 20% of the, the Andhra Pradesh in it. And if we see which, con which states are at the least of it, they are the Ker Kerala, you can see Uttarakhand, and in north you can see some Arunachal areas. Uh, statistics of child labor in India 2014. 7% selling and wood collection, 46% water collection, 20% food polishing, 12% car washing, 7% cleaning, 7% dishwashing, and then last 1% banging. Photos we have added. Uh, these are the examples here. You can see children selling uh, food, and here are children bagging. And here is a rat picker who is collecting bottles and plastic materials so that he can further sell and earn money. And this is a children who is uh, polishing the shoes. So this is a flow chart showing the other factors and the social evil related with the child labor. Child labor is not only a single problem. As we all know, all those problems are interlinked. Education or the lack of education basically is related to it. Poverty on the main cause and the exposure to shocks. If we see the child is, is mentally disarmed by any reason, he would be into the shock like parental death. He would be into the child labor due to the poverty only. So they are just related to it each other. Awareness is the other factor. If we think of a 12 year boy who don't know what his right is, he is just into the, uh, at a shop, we can say it is, he is working at a shop and uh, he don't know, he is just thinking his owner is good, he is paying him so that he could work. But he is not aware of his rights. He should understand that education is very important for him. That's why the awareness is very important, but he is unaware of his own right. Basic services, labor market, and the technology of production. If we think about, we can go into the Maharashtra side and we can think of the, uh, you know, the film industry. The child art artists are there only, they also work. But their basic condition in the labor market, they are not basically labor, but they are working. Their conditions are good, so they take it as a opportunity and a very good thing. But the labor market and all other factors, like if you are working at a shop, the conditions are very poor. So it, he or she don't consider it as good job. So these factors contribute to it as well. Child labor can have a range of both mental and physical effects on their health. Physical harm. 
children are exposed to several unhealthy toxic chemicals children goes through the risk of injury while working with heavy loads leads to their bad physical health mental harm depression shame guilt loss of confidence and anxiety are some of the horrible effects on a child involved in child labor sexual exploitation sexual exploitation sometimes the children get trafficked Trafficked kids are then subjected to prostitution, forced marriages, illegal adoptions. Trafficking, trafficking exposes the kid to violence and sexual abuse. Economic exploitation. The children are forced to work with low wages or given no wages. And in nearly every case, labouring cuts off the children from schooling and healthcare, restricting their fundamental rights. Children loses their chance. of uh, getting aware about what's really happening with them and these all results in that the children starts to do uh, starts drinking or doing drugs in a very small age that leads to their overall bad theoretical data but you must be thinking what is the case study or the real life example so we have two of them we are going to present you one is based on a city you can see and one is based on nestle i will be presenting so Proceeding further, I am I am uh, going to show you a report of Mizoram University Journal, who has bring this report of Azabal City, who is the capital city of Mizoram, and uh, they have searched searched hundred uh, houses of child laborers, and I am I have bring a story of Kimi in front of you. So Kimi is a small girl child who is of twelve years old, and uh, he has three brothers, and her parent is uh, her father is alcoholic. and her family practices jhum cultivation her um, uh, her mother is also ill uh, since they, she has uh, allergies and she is uh, uh, she is having med a medical problem of uh, thyroid so the she uh, started uh, schooling in the year of 6 and she has to left uh, their classes in cl uh, in class 6 because because her family conditions were not good enough to continue her studies as her mom was ill so she has to do home works also and to promote her brothers to study uh, further she has to uh, work uh, as a so uh, the statement is uh, our home environment is not supportive for our studies and my father does not care about us we are living difficult life and to support my siblings i have to earn the main reason or the basic reason uh, because she has to uh, do child labor was the poverty and the statement again she gave that uh, the main reason why i am engaged myself as a servant is poverty poverty compelled me to work as domestic servant without attending school so uh, she was working in a, a rich person's house in azawal city uh, to uh, continue their finances of their houses so Uh, the work conditions were not good she has to uh, take care of children of uh, the rich people and also have to work uh, in kitchen and doing uh, uh, other works so uh, again she is tell uh, to us that uh, her uh, health was not good so she said that it uh, affects my health because i have to do a lot of household chores besides taking care of children i feel tired very often and sometimes have back pain and i feel uncomfortable as my working hours are very long the conclusion is that she wanted to study uh, further uh, so since she cannot study she uh, supported their uh, brothers to study further and uh, the statement at last given by her that uh, i miss my school that was a good time and place where i had friends if there is any way i want to return my school based on the ivory coast if you don't know i would tell you ivory coast is the largest cocoa producer in the world so talking about nestle is there we all know nestle is a brand dealing with only the cocoa products mainly coffee and all so what happens at the ivory coast there are the plantations of cocoa we all know and they are violating some laws first of all they were using child as the labor in their plantations but everyone was unaware when the government got aware of it they just promised you can see here promise violation they promised a decade or a more decade more than a decade ago that we won't use children as in labor forces but they violated the law and still the cases are there in a huge number that children are being used as labor there this is younger than 15 it is the age in mostly where a student should be in school till 15 but they are work in working condition there only even among children 50% under 18 and 50% under 
15. You must be thinking like under 18 should be fine, but that's not true. Even till 18, a boy or a girl should get his or her knowledge or education that he or she deserves. So you can see about 100, that's a figure only. They are the children working under them. Forced labor, no salary for some. It means that there are some labors or the particular the child labors which are not even paid. They are just forced to do. They get some shelter or the food and they don't get anything else. Industry, this is an industry. Like it is not talking about the Nestle or the Cocoa. It is talking about the child labor. It is. It has become an industry of 60 million euros. L law awareness about the code. Like the people, the parents and the children which are working there. They are unaware of the laws and what they deserve. So called family workers, you can see what are family workers. If a parent is working there and his or her child is also working there, that child would be called a family worker. You can see the no age verification system. If a labor is there, he or she would get a card. But there is no age verification if there, he or she is a child or an adult. When government verifies them, they just see that it is a, uh, it is just a labor and there's no age and all. So the child labor can't be got uh, uh, prevented using the normal ways. So we have to think out of the box and let to cut some uh, ways like this. That Karnataka government has decided to cut down the uh, cut down the power of all industries which have child labor. So again, in right image, you can see that a policeman is asking a child to give him tea. So this this is the not way how we can stop child labor. So moving further, there are several uh, uh, there are several uh, agencies uh, who are doing studies of child labor and more. So breaking about UNICEF, UNICEF is a United Nations Children's Fund, or uh, originally known as United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. So and again, uh, this is the second uh, uh, second organization. It is international labor organization, and they both work for children and laborers. So uh, one fun fact is that that uh, India is the founding member of ILO, and India's data and uh, ILO's data were very, very different in 2011. Should done by every person is spreading awareness. Every person or every child labor or parents of child labor should be uh, aware of what are the laws given by the government, what are the ways and they should not ask their children to work in factories and the big labor, uh, the big uh, industrialist and they should also ensure that uh, there is no one child labor in their industry. And secondly, uh, the government should um, strengthen their laws and effective, uh, the implementation should be effective. Uh, we can see the pages that there are um, more than 11 and 12 laws and these are the amendments of 2016, 2017 and uh, many more we can find it on Ministry of uh, Health and in more. So moving backward, so other points are that uh, uh, sending more children to school. So how this will affect? If a children go to school, he or she might not have time to work and by the education they can achieve their life goals and they can uh, come out of the poverty cycle. So if they cannot afford school, we simple peoples, we can uh, uh, give them uh, study or we can teach them for one hour, uh, one hour and two hour daily uh, just by calling them uh, to our home or any way, anywhere in the places which we have. So fourth point, discouraging people to employ children in their homes, shops and factories. In the example of Kimi, we have seen that uh, she was a child of just age 12 years and she was working in a rich people house. So this should be discouraged and uh, we have seen several in shops that Chotu Jal Chai Leke Ana, these examples are very famous and the policeman we have also seen Chotu uh, is serving him tea. This should be fully everywhere and last support so last point is supporting NGOs uh, like Save the Children. These are the NGOs which work for children who acquire, uh, who adopt children and they uh, uh, they wear the feces of their studies, they feed them and they uh, and they uh, more work on these children and get them out of poverty cycle. These children are the future of our country and without these children we cannot aim for a healthy society because these children uh, are important for our country's development. 
so it is very important to look after their needs and uh, basic education facility as you clearly see here in this image that how uh, the future of former child without papers without education is bleak and all children have a right to education and should not be engaged in child labor we thinking how a parent is like in this condition if his or her child must be working but it's not true it just shows like a two different societies this is a society where children work there is a lot of you know it shows the potential loss and this where children are studying this is growing this society for the conclusion we have uh, government always makes the laws or the ngos but they don't have any idea if they are really getting followed or not so child labor laws need to be strictly enforced and protected as well the general public needs to be made aware of the severe, uh, severe consequences of child labor through some skits or some role plays and increase in employment opportunity for adults so as to have an increase in family income government should ensure that every child gets a education and the opportunity to go to school which will help children learn skills that will help them earn a living children are mostly getting involved in labouring because there are no job opportunities in india or in any country there are very less opportunities in foreign too family family should control family should have the control on fertility so that the children are not a, so that the families would not get burdened by the children see this is a statement which is given by key burger that child labor is an issue of great importance and it must become a top it must become top priority for all the governments of the world how can the world move into the 21st century with children still being exploited for labor and denied their basic right to an education he is a canadian social human right activist hope you have this is the chart we can see that if we will study we can get out of poverty cycle and we can Uh, uh we can prevent child labor and if we will continue child labor our country uh, country's future will be in very danger thank you so much what the child has to do is to hear no parents no relatives and he there are several, doesn't have any food and, uh, and there are several ngos and uh, they they can register themselves but uh, how can a child can be uh, can get aware of them that's what that's your what role you are doing that's what your role is you have to bring that kind of children he is unaware we have already told he is not aware of any of his right you and people like us have to go to them and take them to the police station we can go ngo then anywhere we should help him okay so if uh, uh, so do you guys uh, believe in that there is unemployment in our country yes, yes. yes. so why those people who are unemployed can work Uh, instead of those child labors why they can't so that's a very controversial thing the child the wages that are paying to the child is just half of it that's why they prefer child labor instead of but still it's like it's, uh, it's good it's good to have something without nothing but they are not thinking of that now they are thinking they getting labor but uh, paying less so they just need child labor I, i will continue with the answer as if there are discussed unemployment in our country where a person have uh, where two person can uh, do the job there are more than 10 person involved in that job so because of that the wages of those people are very less and they cannot further uh, improvise their family so their children also have to work for food okay ritesh wanted to ask mama mm, asked him and said that a uh, child that has no parents and no relatives and you said that he or she should be uh, to be registered in an ngo but as you mentioned a ngo name that we said and this is not an ngo it is an organization okay. which help countries countries but as we can see uh, the condition in sri lanka is very bad and uh, there were also children of that kind of child labor and the ngo is not giving them funds they said they will only give fund if they uh, if the sri lanka uh, is ready to give their uh, it control was not about control of their economy it was not the unicef it was imf international monetary fund who so is funding unicef Unicef. In your sites, there is a uh, organization called Unicef. It was Unicef, but the funding was given by IMF to the country to control their all. Uh, Even the IMF denied to give them funding. IMF has not. Uh, IMF is IMF is not include. Uh, is in but you said that IMF work for that. No, IMF does not work for that. Okay.